Hey everybody, I'm Tim the Suburban Dad and today I would like to go over with you my top five whiskeys from 2021. So let's get to it. Number five, Walker's K. So this bottle was released for the very first time in 2021 and it comes in at 90 proof, at least where I'm in Missouri, it's found everywhere, grocery stores, gas stations, liquor stores, which is cool because it's a really good bourbon for the price, 30 to 35 bucks, somewhere in there. It has some spice, it has a little bit of oakiness, a little bit of sweet. It's 90 proof, so it's not super strong. It's a great, easy sipper. In one of my previous videos, you'll find that I compared this one to Buffalo Trace. Oh, yes, I dared. And it's great for those of you who do have trouble finding Buffalo Trace in your area because it really does have a similar taste. It's not the exact same, but Walker's K has a sherry cask finish, which adds a little velvetiness, a little smoothness, kind of like Buffalo Trace, which is very smooth. All in all, a great bottle. Check it out if you haven't already. Number five from 2021. Number four, Maker's Mark FAE01. So this was the first special release bottle from Maker's Mark this year. And it comes in at 110, 110.6 proof. And I like this better than the FAE02 because this one had a more fruit forward profile to it. Just nice, you get that classic Maker's Mark fruitiness to it. The proof point is right in my wheelhouse. 110 proof, that is fantastic. It's got a rich, robust flavor to it. Very tasty. It retails for about 60-ish bucks. I think this one is 55. I've seen it 65 plus. Definitely, definitely worth a grab. And I did like it more than the O2 simply because O2 is a little more oaky. Still very good, but this one just hit me the right way with all that fruit. Number three. So this bottle was, as you can see, I enjoyed it already very much. This is not brand new to 2021. It was released before that, but I first tried it in 2021. So that's why it's on my list. Iron Root Harbinger, Harbinger. However, I need to say it to not get in trouble with the trolls out there. 115 proof, ironically, I found that these top five go in ascending order of proof, so that's fun. This is from Iron Root Republic in Texas. It did win World's Best Bourbon in 2020. It's got to be pretty decent. It is. It's fantastic. Probably the most balanced bourbon I've had, maybe ever. It's a mix of caramel, little bit of fruitiness, some sweetness, spice. I mean, it's got it all. It does remind me of Old Forester 1920. This one's a little bit more spicy. Old Forester is a little bit more fruity. But uh, again, 115 proof. It's the kind of stuff that I like. But just a very rich flavor. Very well-rounded. So if you're looking for just an overall great bourbon, this is this covers all the bases with the flavors. This one retails for about 50 bucks around here in Missouri. It's only found at Total Wine. Um, in Texas, I have no idea. Uh, besides the distillery, probably Total Wine. I don't know if the other liquor stores are able to carry it. But up here, uh, Total Wine currently has exclusive rights to selling it. So if you're looking for it, Total Wine. Number two on the list. Of course, there's got to be Booker's in there, right? So, this year we had four batches of Booker's, thankfully. And my top Booker's batch ended up being the third batch, which is Bardstown. So, 2021-03. Excellent bourbon. I mean, 125.5 proof. It has 
it's spicy it's got some caramel to it not super fruity not super oaky it's bookers it's very rich and robust flavor very complex the marriage of the spice and the caramel made it super great it is delicious i'm finding more and more that i that are really i like fruit forward bourbons as well as um, caramel i really like good caramel profile on the palate which brings me to number one drum roll please for the number one whiskey of 2021 according to the suburban day Ta-da! Balcones. Oh, shocker. Balcones True Blue Cask Strength. And this is a store pick from Total Wine. Great friend of mine managed to uh, snag this down in Texas. It is, was, rest in peace. It was amazing. Caramel, 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 caramel. I mean, just the most caramely rich, uh, it's not a bourbon, it's a whiskey. Rich caramel whiskey, I mean, it was just fantastic. 128.6 proof, whoo! So it's up there. We started at 90 proof with number five and we're all the way up to 128 point, what did I say, six? 128.6. This one, it's tough because this is a store pick so it's not like you can run out and grab another one. But I did go to Texas myself in 2021 and I got the standard True Blue Cast Strength that Balcones makes and I got another store pick True Blue Cast Strength. So we'll see how the original matches up as well as the other store pick. So I'm hoping one of them at least has similar notes as this one because it was just so good. And I just wanna point out this was aged for at least 24 months, which means it probably wasn't much more than that. Um, they have to put the youngest whiskey barrel aged on there. So for, again, it could have some older whiskeys in there too, but 24 months old, this is fantastic. It just goes to show you, notice there were two Texas whiskeys in the top five. If you haven't tried Texas whiskey, give it a try. Specifically, Balcones first and Iron Root Republic. I have not yet tried the actual Texas whiskey, TX whiskey. We'll see. I've heard mixed reviews on it. But those are my top five from 2021. So if you see them, you better try them because I said they were good. So that means they are. Until next time, like and subscribe, and cheers. <laughs>